believe recreational boating is more popular than ever, and we're headed to a factory where they're keeping up with the demand. The company is Sea Ray in Venor, Tennessee. They're one of the largest boat manufacturers in the world, turning out a whopping 10,000 boats every year. Today, we're going to see how the company manufactures one of its most popular sport boats, the Sun Deck. At just over 26 feet, it carries up to 12 people, can reach speeds of up to 55 miles per hour, and is outfitted with everything from a stereo system to a wet bar. Marshall, welcome to Sea Ray's Teleco Lake facility. The factory is about 230,000 square feet. We employ about 630 people. This is utterly fantastic. Building any boat begins with constructing its exterior, or the hull. And in the case of most fiberglass boats, such as the Sun Deck, that means using a high-quality mold like this. Workers fill the mold with a liquid gel that hardens into the shape of the hull. Then they add additional materials, such as fiberglass, and foam beams for reinforcement. Finally, after the boat sets for a few hours, they lift the finished hull out of the mold. In other words, they build the hull from the outside in. But before they fill the mold with gel, workers first grease the mold surface with a special wax so the hardened hull will pop out easily. Then they use air hoses to remove any bubbles and dirt particles from the wax. Otherwise, these impurities would mar the smooth and shiny surface of the hull. Then a forklift pushes the mold into the gel booth, where two 750-pound robots await. It's their job to cover the molds with an exterior gel coating, which will harden and become the hull's outer shell. So the mold is moved in, and what's going to happen here? The robotic arms, as you see, are going to start spraying the gel coat on. The robotic sprayers glide back and forth for 20 minutes, covering the mold with a layer of quick-setting polyester resin. This makes the hull durable and virtually impenetrable to the water. The gel coat also contains a pigment, which gives the hull its color. The bottom part of this hull will be white. And just how thick are those layers of gel coat when finished? That's one of Sea Ray's trade secrets. Why do we need robots doing this? What's the advantage they give us here? More consistency on the spray pattern, better quality job. Once the bottom dries, workers remove the plastic that covers the top of the green mold. Later, they'll paint this green section blue. All right, so this will make the bottom part, the hole of the boat. Yes, sir. Where does the, the deck come from? The deck is sprayed on our other set of robots right okay. beside us here, and it goes through the same process. process. This is what the deck looks like after the robots sprayed it with the same gel coat as the hull. But something doesn't look quite right, does it? That's because the mold it's sitting in is upside down. Later, the deck will be popped out of the mold and flipped 180 degrees before being lowered into the hull. 